Hey, Pewter. Yo. Uh, why are you so hot? Uh, well, I do work out my RAM slots a bit. And I'm on the keto diet. Yeah, I'm trying to lose some weight. Uh, wait, what? No, your CPU attempts are high. Oh, well, that's because you're cheap and you're sh using Cooler Master Thermal Paste. Yeah, that's true. But I think I got something that can help you. It's going to help bring down your CPU temps, okay? Here. <laughs> All right, quick install time. And don't worry, Pewter's okay. Tiny little tube. How much is in here? All right, it's benchmark time. All right, so on the left is the Cooler Master thermal paste, and on the right is the Cryonut thermal paste. Pay attention to the VIDs and the power limits here and you'll see like i'm already getting thermal throttled i just started the prime 95 and i'm already getting thermal throttled on the left with the cooler master whoa with the cooler master thermal paste oh my gosh does take tongue twister on the right i'm not even it's not even thermal throttling me it's it's keeping me at 4800 megahertz the the vultures is staying high because it knows it can handle the temps so it's it's awesome when i first started this test i was like whoa when i put it side by side i was like i'm surprised like how well it's working so far i know i have a 1050k and i'm using a cooler master <laughs> 212 uh, evo i know i'm using that on a 1050k and i know a lot of people are gonna bash me in the comments for it but it was cheap i had it for a long time it's i, I had it for years just since my old CPU. But anyways, the first benchmark on the game we're gonna test is Battlefield 2042. Everything is on low. I'm at 1080p. I'm using these settings so I can be more CPU bound than GPU. And just look at this. The difference between the temps, you'll see on the left, you'll see where the temp will start hitting 80s and uh, 80s plus. On the right with the cryonaut thermal paste, it doesn't hit that. Right here, you saw there was like a 20 FPS difference there. It's dropping way less because, obviously because the CPU is not thermal throttle because of the heat. Next game here we're gonna be benchmarking is Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm more GPU bound in here. I do have settings maxed out, but this game is still pretty CPU heavy and you'll see the difference in temperatures 100% more than the frame rate. I just pay attention to the frame right here and how it's hitting 80 already and still hovering around 70 with the crying out thermal paste. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. Wow, almost hit 90 right there. So what I say this thermal paste is helping a lot it is it's helping a ton. I know my temps are decent right now, but I do have a new CPU cooler that came in uh, and it's the Assassin 3. So I got a review coming out on that. So if you can't wait to see that, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll know when it comes out. Thank you. So it's conclusion time. Amazing results, as you can see from the benchmarks. Pros, you really do get lower times. If you're having high CPU times right now, I suggest before you replace the cooler, try replacing the thermal paste with some high quality thermal paste. Packaging is awesome. Cons, I would say it's pretty pricey for a gram. Um, I went on eBay, I paid $9.99 for mine for a gram. I think on Amazon is cheaper, but just be careful with, with counterfeit copies of the, the thermal paste. Now we're even. I want to thank all my new viewers to my channel. You guys are amazing. And you can check out the next video right here. Peace.